All right, guys, next thing we can learn is how to use Booleans. And this is something that's a very popular in many programs. But it's very simple. You just go ahead and create, let's say, a box here. And then, let me say I create a cylinder. Now I activate the auto grid option here and just, let's say, place it right here. Now, in 3ds Max here, we pretty much have two main Boolean systems. They're both pretty good. The first is just a regular boolean, which I've got you set to all B here. And, you know, you can select which operation you want. For example, subtract, add operands, then select that. There you go. Now you can go ahead under display. You can click on, for example, operands or selected operands. Open up this and then click on that. You can very easily move that around. And that's where the boolean is taking place. And boolean is just where you, you add things. You can also just switch this to be, you know, union. Now it's added. Now I've got this happening here. We've also got things such as intersect. This is only where the two pieces intersect, where the box in this case and the cylinder intersect. And then we've got other ones here as well. Merge, attach. All right. So just go ahead and switch it to subtract. Now I can go, for example, to cylinder, maybe add allopoly. Control A to select everything, hold Control Shift, and I'll kind of uh, pull this out right here. So I can kind of have multiple objects here. And if we go back into here, we now have two cylinders here. So this gives us the ability just to kind of easily move this around and adjust it. And there is our new object. Another option is to use Pro Boolean. So I can also kind of do the same thing here, subtract it, and then go into here. Kind of move that around. But what's really cool about Booleans, especially instance Booleans, is that if I select this and then hold shift to clone this as an instance, and then I select this, or no, let me just go ahead and delete that. I'll set this to be an instance and then start picking and then select this. What you'll notice happening here is that I have now this subtracting, but because it's instance, guys, I can now select this and, for example, scale. I notice how I'm able to kind of adjust that in real time. So it creates kind of a very fun workflow. We can kind of modify things in a very fun, fast way. You can modify things right here and then see how they change your main object right here. So Boolean, guys, is a, a nice technique to really uh, get a number of very good objects. Very complex objects will be more difficult using uh, more traditional modeling methods. If you guys are enjoying this video, be sure to check out the description where I have links to a more advanced courses such as on sci-fi design, futuristic vehicles, furniture, and more comprehensive advanced courses. And what's cool about this, guys, I can always go back in here and modify even the original box object. So I can even apply, for example, a chamfer modifier on this. So that's the original box that's being chamfered. So I can use this as a method to you know, get a, a variety of really cool results very quickly.
Let me see how all these are being modified now. You can also use this to split this up into multiple sections very easily. So for example, let's say I create a box and I modify this a bit. Actually, I'll move this all the way, all the way down here. Well, actually, let me undo that. All right. So I'll select this object, and then uh, I'll just select it to be copy. I'll set it to subtract, and I'll go ahead and subtract this right here. We now have a subtraction occurring right here. Now I will... Go ahead and hold shift to move this out. Now for this one, I'll select this and I'll switch it to be, let's say, intersection. And I will change operation. Now we have this right here. So it's only the intersection between these two objects. Now if I change the colors, shift A to move this back here, move this out of the way. You can now see that we have a, a separate object right here, right, like so. I can also, for example, uh, detach this as well. And so I can use this to quickly create panel lines and seams between objects. I have multiple objects here. Alright guys, this was a quick look at booleans. And in future videos, when I cover different software, we'll take a look at more advanced things. Thank you for watching and take care.